Hello, James McHale with ABC News. Those stories shortly, but first to some news just to hand. And violence has again broken out at the Banksia Hill Juvenile Detention Centre in Canningvale. Detainees armed with makeshift weapons barricaded themselves in one of the wings, causing the centre to be put in lockdown. It's understood the youths caused major damage to property. Alicia Kennedy is at Banksia Hill now and joins us live. Now, Alicia, uh, what more do we know at this point about this afternoon's riot? Well, James, this afternoon the Community and Public Sector Union revealed that Banksia Hill was locked down for one and a half hours. Four detainees aged 17 and 18 barricaded themselves inside D Block. They used uh, table tennis tables and chairs to then barricade the door. They then went about smashing windows, pulling cupboards off walls and also even pulling the doors off fridges and ovens. They then used this material as weapons as well as arming themselves with hot water. Then the so-called Special Operations Group was sent in. They used flash bombs and also pepper spray to get in the door. No one was injured in this incident and damage is estimated at around $150,000. Now this is the second incident this week. We are told that on Monday there was another incident out here in a different section of Bankshire Hill which involved three other detainees and damage was around $100,000. The ABC has also been told by a source that there have been problems happening out here at Bankshire Hill for a number of weeks with detainees walking the fence line, climbing fences and trying to get up onto roofs. Now Alicia, going back even further than the past couple of weeks, Banksy Hill is no stranger to riots and there was a particularly serious outbreak of violence about three years ago. That's right, there was a major riot here in 2013 that involved 60 detainees who caused almost half a million dollars damage. It meant that all the detainees here from Banksy Hill had to be taken across to Hakea Prison. Now following that riot, there was a report handed down by the Inspector of Custodial Services and it was scathing. It said that that riot was entirely predictable and described conditions out here as a tinderbox. He said that was due to staff shortages and lax security. So since then there have been major reforms going out here to try and improve conditions. Melissa Kennedy at Banksy Hill Detention Centre.